Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So we have another Ameritron AL811 amp in for repair. So I'm going to do all the repairs and modifications. These new SO239s, the input one is grip. Output one doesn't really have much grip at all. I'll replace them with new ones that I get from Max Gain Systems. All the gas discharge tubes at the socket base over here. Remove the gas discharge tube off the board and the metal oxide variester off the board. So if a tube were ever to flash, I don't want I want it brought right to ground at the socket right here instead of going back, you know, going back through the traces on the board. I'll do the 10 meter mod. And uh, check everything else over, solder joints, loose hardware, all that. Do anything else that needs to be done. Um, customer sent it by UPS. And this was pushed up a bit. Uh, didn't have the screw in here, so this, you know, the weight ended up pushing up. So it creased right here. I pushed it back down, and I'll put a screw in it. For the return trip. It's really important that you put all of the screws in the cover when you ship an amplifier. It gives the cabinet more structural support at all the points where screws go through. Okay, so I'm going to get to work and I will see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com. Okay, so I'm going to do a video of this working on the 80 meter position because the customer does not have a cell phone that accepts videos I normally send a video of the amp working well I always send a video of the amplifier working on one band of the customer's choice I test it on all the other bands so one KW slug it's on PEP bird 43 Amplifier going here. This one has the 200 ohm resistor between the filament and the chassis, so this one requires a little bit more more drive than one without it. So the radio is set to about 64 watts. I'm gonna make the amp do 600 watts PEP. I'll show the frequency after. Audio hello, audio hello, 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 audio hello, hello, audio hello, 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 audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Tit 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 working as it should. So the frequency. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to testing the rest of the bands and um I'll crack it open and show you the inside when I'm all done. So see you soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's the inside of the Maritron amplifier. Got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes, added the gas discharge tubes, base of the socket there. All three tube filaments are in parallel, so you only need one per side. The 10 meter mod, change the SO239 connectors with a new set from Allen Bond over at Max Gain Systems. Got Took the gas discharge tube off the board, metal oxide variester off the board, tightened a bunch of hardware, touched up on solder joints. Went through the rest of it. And uh, put a longer screw at the base of the plate choke because they usually end up falling out. and Or the ceramic breaks because it only catches a couple threads. So about it. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. I just want to add this. I know Ameritron's closing their doors. I found out over a month ago, but um, I'm 42. Um, I'm investing heavily in parts. All the parts for these I can get, so that's not a problem. Also purchased Harbach Electronics. So I have all those parts. Um, I'm a Pentalab distributor, so I have access to lots of tubes and you know the other sources. If you know, I I'm 
set up so I have backups for everything. So rest assured that all the amps I work on, I'll be able to get parts for. So whoever has a tube amp, you're in good hands, okay? And another thing I want to point out that I'm hearing about more and more situations where people are sending amplifiers to people that are kind of doing this as a side gig and they're either doing shoddy work or they're not doing everything they should do uh, and then you know the customer gets it back and they have issues or it doesn't last that long or whatever uh, so please choose wisely when you send an amp in to someone you know I do this for a living I've been doing it a long time very thorough um, yeah, I get things done quickly just uh, boils down if I have the part or not but now that I'm stocking more parts I'm going to get through things even faster I've been working on one to two amplifiers a day and still usually within two week turnaround time you know boils down to the payment tubes parts being here so um, the only reason why I've been exceeding two weeks sometimes is because the customer hasn't sent me the payment. So, um, try to get things in and out as quick as I can. Otherwise, things start to pile up. Um, they just I just have so many amps here. So, but, you know, I, I have a high pot tester. I have all the proper tools. You know, high pot tester from Hypertronics. It's not a cheap piece of equipment. And, you know, I've, tons and tons of parts here uh, I'm a full-blown real repair shop you know and uh, you know, I just uh, I take a lot of pride in what I do and like I said you know I've been around for a long time so if you need an amp repaired and you want it done right the first time and just you get it back it just continues to work as long as you don't abuse it give me a call I'll take care of you and I still prefer tube type over solid state tube amps they just take way more they're just way more forgiving you know in my in my opinion and from what I've seen and like the Heath kits TL922 I mean they've been around for a long time and you can still fix them you know I can still get parts so and any part I can't get it could always have it made you know so uh, there are a lot of options for parts that people don't know about, and I'm going to be putting them on my site, like uh, air variable capacitors, and there are some other things that you know I have. Uh, like the fuse holders I have on there, I have over 500 of them. You know the parasitic suppressors that I'm selling. Well, I mean the 150 ohm resistors, I have over a thousand of them. You know, and I have other values. And the doorknob caps I have on there, I have over 500 of them. They're all brand new. Um, so, just have lots and lots of stuff, and you know, rest assured that, like I said, I'll be here fixing them, and uh, I'm not, I'm, as long as I keep breathing, knock on wood, <laughs> you know, I it's just it's never guaranteed, but I'm in good health, and you know, I'm stocking uh, SO 239s from Allen. I used to order them in sixes or eights, you know, from another guy, you know six sets and or eight sets and I just was ordering so many almost every one of these amps needs at least one so I always change both with you know higher quality ones so I ordered a hundred this time and next time I'll order three or four hundred um, but uh, I'm gonna have a lot of parts a lot I already have a lot I'm gonna have a lot more here so um, I'm gonna put even more on the hard box site uh, Harbark site will have a minimum order, probably 25 bucks or maybe 50. I'm not sure yet. It's just I'm so busy with amp repairs, I can't be. You know, if you're looking for feet or a resistor or just one thing, I I can't. I'm sorry, I just don't have enough time to be. You know, you got you know factor in packaging it, paperwork. You know, for taxes at the end of the year, shipping it. All that, it just for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, I just, I, I'm sorry, I can't do it. That's more of a service to help people. There's really not much money in that. Um, I make my money doing this, and I do service calls, and uh, obviously the custom 
PA builds, multi-band things. I'll be doing maybe one or two of those a year. That's more of a for the love of it type thing because that's not a big money maker because parts cost a bunch. It just keeps it's something different. Keeps my mind from getting too bored. Um, but uh, I might start making some balance again. Just boils down to the demand. Whatever is worth doing, I'll do it. But um, I have a lot of uh, experience from different sources over the years. You know, a lot of knowledge I've, I should say, I've, I've uh, gained over the years from different sources. Lots of experience working with these some of these different people, um, apprenticing at a couple different places. So, just uh, I really enjoy doing this. And again, this is what I do. I'm not retired from something else and sitting in a little workshop area. You know, that's fine and dandy, you know, if someone wants to do that. But I'm just saying, you know, this is what I do. So I do it day in and day out. So I just have, my, my skills are very, very sharp. You know, so I don't, you know, people can figure things out. But it's like, you know, I, I do it so often, I just know I could, could tie, you know, I could probably, you know, blind, blindfold myself. Not really, but I mean, you know what I mean? Or tie a hand behind my back. So... Well, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I actually repaired this yesterday, but I was so busy yesterday I didn't have a chance to test it. Today is Saturday. Uh, I did a Kennewood Teal 922 Thursday, and then I have another amp I did. And I thought I ordered a new parasitic board, but I guess it didn't get added to the order, so... That other, uh, it's another, what is it, a AL811, I need, uh, I ran out of um, meter lamp bulbs, the LED one, so it needs meter lamp bulbs, a parasitic board like this one. Unfortunately, like, it didn't have, it was an old one, and it had these, so I always upgrade it, and I have some other boards here, if I have to, I can reuse this one if, if they won't sell me one, or I could just buy one from uh, Tom. Actually, I'd probably end up buying one from Tom, but see how and this one's okay, but I just wouldn't want to put a used board in a customer's amp unless they said it was okay. I, I checked the resistors. They had overheated, but since it's too many turns, I can pull a turn off. But, uh, so, a lot of times they get burnt up on the bottom. So, anyway, thanks for watching. AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, and also HarbachElectronics.com. And I hope to have that store open within a week and a half or so. I'm just waiting on the electrolytic order. Uh, I have all these kits. I just don't have the, the filter caps for the kit. So there's no point in opening it and being you know having a million orders and I can't get them out. It'll just go. It'll be too much for me. So... Once I get those, I promise the store will be opened. And like with amplifiers, I'm lightning fast. I'll devote a day or two, no, at least a day, a week, and just get all the orders filled and then out, you know, out, 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 you know. So Jeff's a great guy. He had a full-time job, though, 60 hours, he says. So he said he, um, so that was his primary income. That was totally different from the Herbox stuff. And, you know, I... I work from home and you know so it's it's totally different this is what I do amplifiers is what I do so that's why he picked me he called me he figured it'd be a perfect fit he's a great guy he kept it going for a long time great great guy so I didn't want to let that go into oblivion or go to someone that wouldn't do wouldn't bring it any further you know so so anyway thanks for watching and I'm going to I'm going to upload this, and then actually today I'm going to start going through those parts. I bought some plastic little bins, and I'm going to separate the parts for each kit. I have a lot of boxes here. A lot of stuff in the other room that is not in this room. I have the other room. If you watch one of my other videos, I have a lot of, a lot of stuff in the, um, the other room. So even more stuff now. I actually had to take some of that out and put it in another room. <laughs> I have a lot of room in this house. So anyway... Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, catch you guys soon. 73.